He's just gonna come home to me being stuck in a shirt, crying. <laughs> and welcome to my channel. My name is Sierra. Today I'm going to be doing a big ass dolls kill haul. Here we have about 10 items that I purchased from Dolls Kill's website. Today I'm going to be testing Dolls Kill's clothes so you don't have to, to see if they are actually plus size friendly. If you're not familiar with Dolls Kill, basically they are a brand and they have trendy clothing. It's different from most stores. Their clothing go all the way up to a size 3X and if you are plus size, then you know just because they go up to a 3X doesn't mean they actually fit up to a 3X. So we are going to see if they are fat girl friendly. And I have a secret for you guys. A little closer. I'm fat. Yes, I am fat. You probably knew that. I knew that, but people on my Instagram constantly remind me that I am fat, as if I don't know. But let's go ahead and get straight into the try on portion. I bought about 10 items. I will put my full total here. So that's how much I spent on about 10 items. I got a majority of different items, shirts, skirts, just a couple different things to try it out and see if they are plus size friendly. So let's go ahead and try on some clothes. So I'm just currently wearing a black cropped top and some biker shorts and I also have shapewear underneath. I will put a disclaimer. I am wearing shapewear. I thought I'd help them out at least a little bit. Put on some shapewear, give me a little bit of a shape, smooth everything out. My main goal of this video is to see if their clothes will actually fit someone with my body type. I am not the traditional curvy girls. They get to model their clothes. I have a apple shaped body is what they say. I have a bigger tummy. I have no curves in the booty. I didn't get blessed with a booty. I'm sorry. Very sorry. I just want to see if these type of clothes will fit on someone with my body type with a bigger tummy, small bottom, etc, etc, whatever. And I'll put the price of everything in the corner. So for the first item, we have this denim corset and it is super stretchy in the back. So I'm really hoping that this will fit. It is boned in the front like a normal corset and it's like true denim material. So this top does have some stretch, which helped it out a ton. This is so cute, so comfortable. I'm honestly surprised that this fit me. I was not expecting this one to fit, especially with it being denim. And I didn't think the elastic in the back would help as much as it does. It's actually stretchy. This piece fits great. It does have ruffled arms, if that's something that you typically don't like, like it cuffs your arms. I know some people don't like that typically. If you're not a fan of that, I wouldn't buy this one. But but overall, I can see myself wearing this. This is super cute. Oh! Okay, so this was a skirt. I was not expecting this to have stretch in it. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, guys. This second item, I did not expect to fit like this. I am so happy with this item. What? I thought I was gonna hate all these items. I thought they were not gonna fit. Are you serious? What? <sighs> So this skirt is actually a skort. It may have said that in the description. I thought it would be like the material that's not super stretchy, but this is like, do you see that? It's like super stretchy. What? This is probably the most comfortable skirt that I own. The only downside I would say about this skirt, it's super short in the back. And I run into this problem a lot with skirts where they're short in the back, even though I don't have a bottom, they're still short in the back. But wow, I'm fairly impressed with how this haul is going so far. I've only tried on two items. I expected these to be ones that did not fit me. So the fact that this is so stretchy around the waist, I'm just shocked. The pleats aren't very correct, if that makes sense. Like they're kind of wrinkly, but I mean, I am so shocked. This is one I don't have high hopes for. It's a pair of overalls. Overalls just never fit me correctly. I have a long torso, a big tummy, and if this fits, I will actually, I won't know how to act. I'm putting it on over my biker short. I don't want anything to be showing. Okay, it's already tight. I can already tell you this is not gonna work.
Yeah, this one's not gonna work. Super tight around the waist. I feel like if I sit down, this is gonna bust. You can almost see my entire cooch. Not a fan. Super cute though. It's not as bad as most overalls that I've tried since I am super tall and I think I'm gonna pass. It looks like the seams are about to rip. But I will say it does have a lot of stretch and elastic but not a fan. So that's our first fail. I think we're still doing pretty good. This one I figured you could not mess up on. I thought I'd get a few safe pieces. I was like, if this doesn't fit, what the f is wrong with them? So I have high hopes that this will fit. Yeah, that's what I thought. It fits. There's even some space to spare. So I feel like this could fit up to like a 4X even. I like how the sleeves are a little longer than traditional sleeves. Very stretchy. The print is giving very much SpongeBob bikini bottom. But overall, I really love this and I think it's super colorful. Definitely goes with my styles. Here's another one I thought would be safe. I love long sleeves so much. If I could wear a long sleeve for the rest of my life, I would, but I live in Alabama. I can barely even wear a long sleeve in the summer. This one's super cute, super stretchy. The arms are a little long. Personally, I prefer long arms, but that's just me. I don't like that it's white, but obviously I chose that color. I don't know why. Maybe it was on clearance. I don't remember. It is a little bit see-through though, but it is a winner. It's a winner. Super cute, super fun. Here's another risky one. Oh, I thought it was gonna be straight up denim, but it's stretchy. Thank you so much, fashion gods, for giving me something with some stretch. So the only bad thing I can say about this skirt is that it's short. That's the only thing. She's super stretchy. I am so shocked with everything. I was literally buying this thinking I was gonna do a review and be like, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. But I am so shocked. Like, look at this. I can never find skirts to fit. This is so crazy. I did not think Dolls Kill would pop off this hard, honestly. The next one is another safe one, just a graphic t-shirt. I was not expecting this material to be velvet on it. I don't ever read the description. So if any of this was in the description, I did not read it. Again, the arms are long, which I like, but if you have short arms, then you might want to opt out on getting these. It's a little cropped as I expected, but I really like it. I kind of expected this one to fit. I figured if you can't make a size 3X stretchy t-shirt, 3X and stretchy, then none of this would fit. This one I questioned because it is a corset, but it's more like a stretchy tank top with a little bit of boning. Kind of like that denim top that I just tried on, but it does seem a little tight. Let's see if it actually fits. Oh, I'm already struggling. Guys, I don't think this is gonna go down anymore. I'm gonna try, I'll try. Okay, so I just discovered a zipper on the side, so I'm gonna try the zipper. I think I'm stuck. My husband isn't even home. He's just gonna come home to me being stuck in a shirt, crying. <sighs> I finally got it off. Here's the zipper I should have used all along. Honestly, I don't think I'm even gonna try again. I think that I'll just have to take the L on this one. Not bad, considering it's one of the last few items. This one actually looks almost too big. Can't speak too soon though. This skirt is super stretchy, super comfortable, but it's also very short. If I did not have on these biker shorts, you would be seeing my whole hoo-ha. <laughs> So that's not great. And it's also a little big in the waist. I feel like if I was a little smaller, this would slide right down. She's kind of cute though, but I don't think I'll be keeping this one either. It's not my favorite and I just know I'll never wear it. We'll see though if I can style it. Our last item is this cropped tank top. That has a very bad smell though. So it comes to about right here. I know it's hard to see because I'm wearing black. Super stretchy, might layer something underneath since I don't really like my arm showing as much. But this one's definitely a keep. It's kind of plain besides the like bedazzled logo. Don't call me a flexor because I know how to roller skate. I go roller skating. So you can't say I'm a poser. But that is all and I will be right back with an outro.
I am actually pretty surprised with how everything fit. I was not expecting that from Doll's Kill. Sorry, got a little sidetracked. I was not expecting Dolls Kills clothes to pop off that hard. I literally ordered a skirt from someone online. It was second hand, but it did still have the tags, so they hadn't washed it yet. And it was part of their, what was it? My Little Pony. It was part of their My Little Pony collab. And I was super excited because it was like, I've never tried their clothes, I'm just curious. And sadly, the skirt had no stretch at all. It was super small and pretty much unwearable for me did get some photos in it but it wouldn't even zip all the way so yeah I definitely did not keep it I think it actually somehow got stained I don't know how so I ended up donating it hopefully someone else can get the stain out I did not have high hopes going into this at all they very much surprised me and this is pretty much for anyone and if you don't want to buy directly from the brand then I do suggest just buying online from clothing resellers I have a depop shop anything that doesn't fit if they don't accept returns i'll just post it on my depop shop feel free to follow me there same name as on here cc uwu but yeah I think I definitely got a lot of good additions to my closet. It's very hard to find plus size clothes with good stretch that fit bodies that aren't super model curvy style bodies. I tried and I'd say I'd rate the clothes about a eight out of 10. The fact that I only had like what, two items that didn't fit, two items out of 10. I'd say they deserve at least an eight out of 10 for at least the fit. And I'll let you guys know over time if you're interested on how they hold up and the quality quality. I do think that this brand is fat girl friendly. <laughs> because that was kind of the whole point of this video to see if it will work for me, if it'll work for you. If you're not plus size, then why are you? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyone can watch, I promise you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking around till the end of the video. If you like this type of video, let me know what brand you'd like to see next. Comment down below. Don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe to see what's next. Thank you so much.